the Vancouver Canucks have drafted two straight Europeans and they have their next pick coming up after this commercial break that I am watching right now. Let's go over their recent two picks. We're talking first off about Arthur's Silovs who is a Latvian goaltender, 6 foot 4, 203 pounds. So he's taller than DiPietro, but he's kind of short for a goalie. In my opinion, we drafted a goalie because we traded Marek Mazanic earlier today for JT Miller, and that left a hole in our goaltending depth chart, so I think it was an appropriate move, I guess, to get this guy. But Silovs is a player who was the U18 goalie for Team Latvia at the U18s, and it's actually kind of interesting taking a look at his stats here, because he played five games at the World Under-18s, he had a 918 save percentage, which is pretty alright, especially for a tournament like that. But he had a 3.32 goals against average, which is really not good. And that kind of says to me that he's a guy who was able to make a lot of saves, but he still let in a lot of goals because it was Team Latvia. And they didn't have that many goal support either, so my guess is a lot of their playing time was in their own zone, which kind of justifies the high goals against average while also having the pretty alright save percentage. He spent a little bit of time training in the KHL with the Dynamo Riga team, and he played in the MHL for HK Riga and in the Latvian League for HS Riga, where he had 30 games played and a 914 save percentage, so that's pretty good too. His stats in the MHL, a 920 save percentage in 7 games played, and a 2.45 goals against average. I think he's doing a pretty good job at doing what he's doing, considering the fact that he is young, 17 turned 18 years old, and he's already in all the pro leagues. So as a guy drafted in the 6th round, I think it's a pretty okay pickup. Certainly it could have chosen a forward here or a defenseman, but I think this is a pretty alright pick. Going over into our next pick, with the 175th overall pick, the Vancouver Canucks select, out of the Czech Republic, Karol Plasic, who is another overager, but this is a guy who is a winger, a left-wing, right-wing player, born in July of 2000, 18 years of age, 5'11", 154 pounds, so he's light, but he's been playing in the Czech League, and... The main Czech League is where he spent his draft plus one year. He had 29 games played and he had six points. And as an 18-year-old playing in the pure Czech League, that's pretty good. Sure, he's overaged, but it's only by a few months. And as a small guy who found his way onto the Czech League, I think it's a pretty good pickup here. He had one assist at the World Juniors, but that's pretty okay. And going into the future, he's going to be in the Czech League still. And as a winger, he's going to have time to develop, for sure. And if you're taking a look at it, the Vancouver Canucks do have another prospect in their system that was drafted in a very similar fashion. We are talking about Lukas Jasic, who was drafted in the 2015 NHL Entry Draft. Granted, he wasn't drafted as an overager, he was just an eligible draft player. But Lukas Jasic was a guy who was also playing in the Czech leagues when he was drafted. In his draft plus one year, which is the same year that Karol Plasic was just drafted, Lukas Jasic got himself 25 games played and three points. And Karol Plasic had double the amount of points. Now sure, it's a difference between three and six, but still, the comparison is there. And Lukas Jasic is a guy who recently transitioned into the AHL as a really solid rookie on the Utica Comets, and a guy who's looking to potentially being in the NHL one day as a hard-working Yannick Hansen-type player. So, for Karol Plasic, there's a guy already in the Canuck system that does mirror his projected plan as a prospect, and I think that's very useful to have, especially for a guy who's going to come over to North America in a few years' time. So overall, these two are two prospects that I can see totally having some pretty good futures, and I'm not going to say that they're a lead or anything, that's totally not the case here. They're 5th, 6th, 7th round guys, so they're not supposed to be that, but taking a look at it, we have ourselves some Europeans, and they are some pretty alright draft picks. Hope you enjoyed this video, so should I sign 9, and bye. <laughs>